Hey guys, Chris here. Made some modifications to this backyard micro solar generator and got it set up back here and running. So I just wanted to kind of take you through some of the work I did this morning on this deal. And I got the solar panels stood up. We're supposed to get some bad weather tonight. I'll probably fold those up and put them away. But I uh, got some stickers on there. Thank God this thing's steel. You can put some magnets on it. There's a side view. The vent hole on there. I think I might put some silicone around that. This is kind of cool on the back side with uh, the rubber insert pass through grommet thing I put in there for the solar cable. Let's open it up. And this lid is removable. So when I'm inverting, I can just take the lid off. But if I'm just using DC, you know, you can just put it up there. I may put a 12 volt cooling fan in there somewhere. We'll see. But here's the work. That I did this morning. I also got a new uh, Hella rocker switch, a lighted LED there. I'm gonna put that tight again. Oops. But that's a great switch, a little 20 amp switch on there. Really nice. So let's do some uh, still photos here and I'll kind of walk and talk you through some of my work this morning. I took off this. Uh, stock rubber lanyard that came with the 12 volt socket and made a my own lanyard uh, out of galvanized steel picture frame wire and just kind of bolted it on there and that works really good there got some foam padding from the bottom you can also see some weep holes I drilled in the bottom of the uh, ammo box too tin the ends on the battery cable that's THHN wire 12 gauge I need to work on this vent hole a little bit better. You can see the uh, Velcro on the back side. I also have some Velcro on the battery, as you can see here. So it keeps it from sliding around a little bit. I also canceled my order for the Mighty Max battery and went with this Interstate 35 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery. And there's a view of the rubber ground pass through the thing there. The close up here. That fit perfectly, by the way. And on the battery terminal there, I put a little yellow warning sticker and a little plastic end cap deal or rubber end cap deal in there. I got rid of that red switch, by the way. There's a sticker. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what it looked like when I got done this morning and put it back out in the backyard. And here it is on the, on the table here. And then I moved it out to a little, you know, those little garden stand deals there. So I'll be getting in this video. Looks pretty good. Well, hopefully, we don't get crazy severe weather. I also, you know, could put a cover over it too if I need to. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this update. And have a great weekend. See ya.